Hell divers, I regretfully inform you, we have lost. It wasn't from your lack of effort, no. In fact, you fought hard as hell to defend managed democracy. But we can't win all battles, as the automatons have completely taken over Malevolion Creek, assisted by the one they call Joel. So what am I talking about? In a surprise move by Arrowhead, they have completely taken over the planet Malevolion Creek, completely resetting any progress that players have made, and even kicking out some players mid-mission. Simply overnight, the liberation meter went all the way down to 0%. This hit the community across the board, mainly because this is one of the favorite levels people like to jump into because they refer to it as Space Vietnam or Robot Vietnam, mainly because when you look at the gameplay, you see that it's very much influenced by that environment. So how did this happen? Because we have players throughout the galaxy fighting in plants, liberating them. It's part of the whole appeal of jumping into a level, right? To expand democracy across the galaxy. Well, there is a game master over at Arrowhead. He is referred to as the name Joel. The CEO actually called him a bit of a dungeon master for Helldivers. Behind the scenes, pulling the strings. And this game master has a lot of control over the game. And this is just one person over at Arrowhead, quoted by the CEO saying, we have a lot of systems built into the game where the game master has a lot of control over the play experience. It's something that we're continuously evolving based on what's happening in the game. And as part of the roadmap, there are things that they want to keep secret just to give a little bit of surprise. This is actually going to be crucial for Helldivers moving forward as I'm assuming that they did not expect Helldivers to have this much popularity at the launch of the game. So you need someone like Joel who is the game master to determine how fast you can unlock plants and liberate them and how many of them get attacked and things like that to keep people playing in the game. The CEO was also quoted saying, there have been some sudden moments where maybe one planet was too easy or one was too hard and Joel had to get up in the middle of the night to give the automatons a bit of reinforcement so players didn't take the planet too quickly. Though Arrowhead are paying attention to where players have some attachment to various levels like the one we have right here referred to as Robot Vietnam mainly because of the visual aesthetic of the map is just absolutely incredible. An example of the power Joel has in a recent major order to liberate Veld you get 45 war bonds for just that singular objective, which is definitely directing players. Stuff like this is what makes Helldivers 2 so exciting to jump in and play. As whenever you jump in, the gameplay can be completely different or have you go into a different direction that you weren't expecting. The world is alive and changing. So I have to jump in myself to see what robot Vietnam is like in Helldivers 2. This mission that we're on took a lot of twists and turns that I wasn't actually expecting to have happen with this one because we completed our main objectives and I was like, okay, time to go to extraction, but we found all these other little interesting things within the world that were like, well, let's go do that. And then let's go do that. As you can see, our main mission right now is to launch an ICBM, but we're like, hey, how about this automaton fabricator factory? Let's go attack this out because, well, we don't like automatons on the planet. You know, we're a little afraid offended the fact that he took over this whole place. We need it back. Here is a perfect example of why people are calling this level Space Vietnam, Robot Vietnam, because it just look at this environment. It's marshy with a lot of lush green jungle type of trees, some mountainous ranges in the background. I think there's a volcano going off someplace as well. And it's just like the atmosphere that is this map is just absolutely incredible. And I can see why it's become a fan favorite because it just it's a fun environment to be in when it just looks so cool. Like every place you go to, it just looks so interesting. After making it through waves of robo baddies, we made our way to the launch pad for the ICBM. Now I've never actually done this mission before in Helldivers. So when this missile went off, it completely caught me off guard. I saw it first line off and go off in the around someplace out there and I was like, that's cool. Three, two, one. Oh my god. So much freedom it brings a tear to your eye, brother. I was admiring the patriotism of a fellow Helldiver, and then I heard a loud boom. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Democracy never looks so good. With the confidence of managed democracy flowing through our veins, we decided to go for another outpost, but this ended up just being absolutely insane. 
and it kind of getting the vibe why beyond just the aesthetics of why this also was referred to as Vietnam because this outpost was absolutely insane oh my god right here is a perfect example of why armor passive abilities are so crucial in this game I have democracy it protects passive armor ability with this set I recently just got which makes it so then I have a 50% chance of surviving lethal damage and you see why no heal up oh my god but the next time I wasn't as lucky no I dropped four rares on my body no or the time after that oh my goodness our team did make it to the extraction point eventually we definitely took our sweet time and ended up did losing those rare samples which is always painful to have happen but that battle was absolutely insane at that outpost, so I was just glad to get out with some form of dignity. I'm starting to see why that this planet is a fan favorite, just because of visually it looks so interesting. Now, when it comes to like the geometry of these maps that Arrowhead creates, they're nothing really too complicated, right? It's like some points of elevation with rocky points, trees and some extra rocks here and there, but nothing too crazy, right? But the thing is like with the volumetric lighting and then the way the colors kind of pop out of the atmosphere, it just looks so cool, especially with like, you know, calling your strategies. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. I had to go back and check to see what the progress is with the fellow Helldiver community. And you see we're just under 7% liberated back to this plan. So in no time, freedom, liberty, and managed democracy will reign supreme over this planet. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.